Hi there, welcome back to Lea Bell Reborn Nursery. Um, today I will uh, begin the real tutorial to paint a kit. As you can see, I have uh, chosen another kit than the previous one because um, the, the previous mason was a bit too uh, orange and uh, I don't want to, to begin with neutralizing, so I chose uh, another one to, uh, to work with. Um, it's a kit from Bountiful Baby. It's very pale, so that's a great base to begin. Her name is uh, Sweetie. Uh, so I choose to begin with red, and that's my preference. You can choose whenever, whatever color you want. So I just do a test on a clean paper towel to uh, check my uh, my con my pigmentation I choose to add a little bit more water for doing my wash I will show you the result I want so you can see it's very translucent um, if you want to know how I mix my color uh, in the previous video I show you uh, how to mix with the medium I use the same about the same uh, method for all my color for my wash. So I, I just uh, put some paint on a sponge, makeup sponge, and I bounce the color everywhere. So that's really easy and that way you can uh, you can see uh, how much color you add on the kit and it's less uh, trouble for uh, dipping and uh, build, building color in the crease and uh, my light is not very good because I'm in front of the window when the sun just hit the win this window most of the day so that's why uh, it seems like that there is a lamp inside the head, but it's just the sun. So I just apply, apply the color with the sponge everywhere on the kit. I just bounce it. You will not see a big change with the first layers, few layers. You, uh, you will maybe have trouble to see if you uh, have put any color on the kit. That's normal. That's what we want. We don't want it to be too obvious the first layer because you will. It's easier to add color than to remove. So we go very light. Then for all the the pieces that are difficult to um, to work with the sponge, I use my brush, paint brush, to go inside the mouth, uh, in the ears, the nostril, the eyes, um, big crease, and just go with my uh, my brush. Then I bounce it with. Um, the sponge and a, a big, uh, big fluffy brush, dry brush, to remove all the excess. You don't want any excess, any drop. It's really important with air dry to be careful to not let any paint drop because it will dry there and you will not be able to remove it later. So. It's important to check the kit for any excess paint. So as you can see, there's barely any color. You do the same for all, all the limbs. 
be careful to uh, put paint between fingers in all the big crease inside the palm everywhere you want to have paint everywhere Don't worry uh, to uh, remove the paint you just put. Uh, it will not happen. The, the process is more like um, stain the vinyl than paint. Than paint it really. It's uh, the color will stain it. So you don't uh, you don't need to you to use too much. And it's after a lot of layers like that, that you will achieve the skin tone you want. Uh, that and with the mottling, you will achieve the, the skin tone. It's really a slow process. Don't be too uh, excited and want to see change happen really fast. It, it takes a long, uh, long time. It's a long process to go. Um, sometime when we begin, we uh, we are all excited and want to see the baby almost uh, finish uh, with, within a few layers of paint. And that's when we make mistakes. So just take your time, enjoy the, the process and really take your time, one thin layers layer at a time it's not a race you can if you want uh, use more pigment and color uh, if you uh, if you really you are a kind of impatient person can use it more uh, less dilute um, not too much, but you can if you want. Uh, but I think when you begin, it's better to go safe than to have to uh, strip a kit because uh, we have uh, used we have used uh, less dilute color, and uh, the result is not what we want, or it's too dark. Or we have a spot that are uh, appear because it's, it's hard to work with uh, air dry because you have to be very fast and if your paint is too much too pigment um, it's hard to pounce it equally on all the surface so you may uh, end up with um, spots that are darker than others, uh, some lines appear. So it's better to go uh, safe with uh, more transparent paint. I hope I am clear in English. Uh, it's really, really difficult to me. Uh, that's why I uh, speak over the video this time because uh, I can keep my concentration on what I am doing. So uh, if I don't say the right words, excuse me, I try my best. So that's the same process with all the limbs. We just apply paint. Like you see there, I have applied paint with the brush directly onto the, vin the vinyl. You can do that also. And then pounce it after. Um, I don't do it often because I find it's uh, double the work because I have to pounce it anyway. But it can be easier to uh, access all the crease 
<coughs> especially when you have a kit with a lot of details, that's a good way to go with the brush directly because you can uh, you sure you are sure you don't miss any spot any crease. But it's more dangerous to uh, to have uh, to forget to bounce uh, the excess paint. And at some place, it's uh, you have to be more. Um, uh, I don't know the word. You have to check it more to be sure. You can also use those kind of brush. Those are a, a kabi kabushi brush. Very dense makeup brush. You can use it instead of a makeup sponge to uh, pounce the paint. It uh, it works uh, very well. Um, you have to uh, keep it clean. That's a bit harder, I I think, because the paint tend to dry on the side of the brush and it's hard to keep clean but uh, it's it give a great result too so now i am done with the red i will go with uh, the yellow and i will do exactly the same as uh, with the red so I will check if um, the trans transparency is, la is uh, like I want. I keep my paint, my all my paint in those kind of jar because um, it, it's um, it's easy to keep in that and. Uh, I don't have to make a new batch every every single time I want to uh, to use. Uh, if you uh, do a few kits back to back, you paint a lot. That's a good way to keep the paint. Just uh, have to uh, readjust the the color with water sometimes because uh, the water can uh, evaporate. But that keep the paint uh, very well. <coughs> And be careful with the yellow because it, it can stain very bad. So you you want to use it very very thin. I think you can see just there with a few pounds that the kit is already uh, more yellow. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if uh, beginners can see it well because uh, your eyes I, are not used to it but I can see it the, the change so you do all the piece um, you notice that I begin always in the back of the head um, that's because if my paint is not uh, dilute well I will see it in the back and it's easy to cover with air later if you have made any mistake it's easier to um, to do a camouflage than if you begin in the on the cheek for example um, if you uh, plan to leave it bald it's maybe a bit problematic you can um, try to uh, use the neck flange to um, to test your color. That's a, a good way too. Or maybe uh, under the arm or yeah, under the arm that could be potentially a good place too. So you can see the difference already 
It's more a peachy color. So I have done all the, the limbs with uh, my yellow. Now I begin with uh, my blue. The same as for the yellow, uh, it's a it's a very uh, difficult color to work with. If um, you if you are not careful, it will stain. Um, you may you may think it's very light, but when drying, you will realize that it's darker than you have thought. So um, use it very carefully, very thin, and I do exactly the same as yellow and red, just pounce it everywhere, use my brush to reach the difficult uh, areas. Uh, every wash you will, every layers you will uh, put, you will do exactly the same Um, the only thing that is different is it's uh, with the the mottling, but for all the the washes that give the skin tone. Uh, later on, I will uh, show you a different color that I use. Um, I use primary method, but with a twist. So I. Often mix um, my blue and red to uh, give a more purple layer. Uh, I can mix uh, my um, blue and yellow uh, or uh, red and yellow to give a green or a orange layer. And I also use um, burnt umber to uh, to give. Uh, a glowing uh, skin tone. I don't know how to uh, to say it, but it gives uh, a warm tone to the kit. Uh, you can also change different kind of blue or of red or yellow. Use a yellow ochre. You can use a, a more pinkish red if you want. You can play with the, the color. It's not. Uh, it's up to you to uh, to choose what color you like to work with. That's the beauty of reborning. It's an art, and as an artist, you can play with the color as you want. There is not really a, a fixed uh, recipe to make. Those there are some something that doesn't change for sure, but uh, as for the color, you can uh, you can play with them. If you have some uh, test parts, that's a good way to learn which color to use. And uh, after you have done a few reborns, uh, you will find your way, your, uh, way to work. It takes us a few dolls to be able to uh, to be comfortable to uh, try new things. You will find uh, your own uh, method. Uh, I also uh, recommend that you um, watch uh, many tutorial videos, uh, air dry or Genesis paint, it's not, uh, not a problem. Uh, more you watch, more you, you learn different things and you try and you choose what work for you the best. I'm not the, the best by far, <laughs> I'm not, uh, I have some experience. But uh, I'm certainly not the uh, the best uh, out there. Uh, I I do uh, I do uh, 
all I can to uh, to make great babies, but uh, it's been only uh, four years that I do this. So uh, after I have done uh, uh, my blue, I realized that I have uh, lost my footage. I don't know why, what happened. So uh, just to say that uh, you you finish your three first layers, and after that I stop usually there, and I do all my veins, my um, a shadow, um, my undertones. I do all this uh, before the rest of the skin tone. So uh, I will uh, see you later, and I will show you uh, what I have done. Um, I hope uh, you uh, you doing well. Uh, I know this is a difficult time for all of us. So uh, I wish you all the best and to stay safe. So uh, have a nice day. We'll see you uh, later. Goodbye.